Yeah! That's my food. Enough moisturizer. I need to get face wash or face cream that's gonna help me solve my, my face. I've got rashes, so I'm going to. I can't find like a face wash. I feel like my Kojic soap is just for me to put my body and my face. So I need like a face soap for my face or a face wash and probably face cream or something. I don't know, just going to get a little bit of a day's but it felt like months. We go for you only go like once. Life move fast and you do what you want. Okay, I don't know why I'm breaking out. I, the only thing I can think of is the change of weather. That's the only thing that is different. So I think I'm thinking is the change of weather that's making me break out. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but if, you get, if it's not showing, I'm going to probably film tomorrow and show you my face. I'm breaking out. It's like I'm having rushes on my face, on just my face. And before now, I had, you know, this malaria bug where you used to come on the sleep website. I never had that when I sleep. Oh. It came on my mouth when I went to South End. The weekend I went to South End to see, I noticed the thing was like swelling and then the Monday of when I got back from South End, I realized it was swollen, it was painful, it was bleeding. You know, you know, that's what I'm saying now. But the grease that like, comes on your legs when you're sick, you know, about to sick, the fever grease that. It's like I've been in my face now for one week. Although I haven't been doing anything actively to send it away, but I feel like I should do something now because it's not usually my body when I'm sick or I'm having a headache or anything. If I should rest for a bit, it just picks up and goes back to my mom. But this, I've literally left it like that for a while now, and it's still the same thing. All getting friends, we are TikTok and all sorts. Um, so how I figured out this product is straight TikTok so I'm just going to try them out and see if they are going to work for me or not but let's see so guys I'll see you later I'm just going to chill out a bit before I go back home because today is Friday I'm back from work I have nothing to do at home for now so I'm just going to be out here chilling
Yeah, so this is the reception and guys, the gunshots are so loud. So yes, me picking up my goggles and my hair defenses. Word safe, which means it won't fire. Would you ready to shoot? Just flip that down with your thumb and you're on semi automatic. Okay? Are you both right handed or left handed? Right handed. Right, nice one. So your right hand goes at the back on the grip there, left hand under the barrel. Pull the stock nice and firmly into your right shoulder. Shoot your left eye and with your right. In the centre of the, the sight, you'll see a brightly coloured dot. Where that dot is on the target is where your bullet should land, okay? If at any point you pull the trigger and the gun doesn't shoot, pop the safety on, pop the gun down, give one of us a wave and we'll come and sort it for you, okay? Yep, yeah. uh, just make sure you don't do anything like that. Does the colour change? No, 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 it's not going to change the colour. A bit lower? Just that, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm back and I'm gonna say that it was not worth it. I was all hyped up about it and all that, but the thing is, I, sh I shot a real gun, so that's it. But it wasn't like it wasn't giving me the that's my food, my food is ready. It wasn't giving me like the um wasn't giving me the vibes that I wanted so it wasn't giving me the vibes I wanted so I want to go get my food that's why. um it wasn't giving me the vibes I wanted so it was like it was just us it was just us and just one second let me get my food I'll be right back so hey guys as I was saying so it, I don't even know how to explain the feeling because it wasn't what, probably wasn't what I was expecting. I expected to, I expected something where I would have access to like shoot the gun and it's gonna feel so exciting. It wasn't exciting when I did it, but it wasn't exciting when I did it, but I'm glad I actually did it. I wasn't excited at all and I was like, I was a bit disappointed to be honest. But I'm glad I probably if I paid for like the more expensive sessions it would have been nicer. How do you feel like the expensive sessions? I paid for like one of the cheapest. So maybe that's why I had this experience. But there I'm back in Derby. I came to get something to eat. I'm trying out a new restaurant something. It's called Chi. I ordered the Thai coconuts. Rice, Thai coconut curry. Yeah, that's what I ordered. So when I get home, we need to get that because it's obviously a takeaway. So yes, guys, I'm too tired. So see you guys probably when I get home. I'll show you the food and that's it. Or see you tomorrow. Any which way, you move. Bye. So I'm at home. Yeah. So this is from the Chi Kitchen. I had the Thai coconut curry rice. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Mm, it smells so good. I'm about to dive in this. Oof, I can't wait to taste it. Guys, see you later. Hey guys, what's up? So this is about 8.30 Sunday evening. The weekend just went by so fast. I had like 
Thursday and Friday off, but all of a sudden it's Sunday and I have to start preparing for Monday. How? But guys, yesterday it's, it's Sunday evening and I just had my bath. I'm about to round up the vlog and I thought to share my nighttime skincare routine with you guys. And then, guys, remember I told you I had like rashes all over my face, discoloration and all that. I just washed my face. Since I had the rashes, I decided to stop using kojic acid on my face. Just use that for my body because that, that has been my soap for about a year now. So I decided to stop it, stop using it on my face because probably the weather is changing and it's too ash for my skin or probably it has damaged my skin barrier. I really don't know. But I decided to stop using it for a while and I had to get a facial wash or a facial soap as you may call it. But I have been using, I don't know if you can see clearly yet, but I have been using CeraVe. As you can see, I've used it. See, <laughs> I've actually used it. I've been using it for a while. I think this is about, this should be like, I think I've used it for about a month or three weeks now. I would say it is really nice. This is a facial wash I would recommend. CeraVe facial cleanser is I love it. That's the only thing I've used for my face for now. So, oh yeah! So I'm sure you guys have seen it already. <laughs> I made my hair yesterday and I don't know how I feel about it because it's been a while since I've actually made my hair, like proper making my hair with attachments. It's been a while and I think I have to like it, but I'm having this mixed feelings about it though. The side view is lovely. The hair, is, the hair itself is lovely, but you see this front, I feel some type of way about it. That's why this bangs, literally, I had to put it in myself. I DIY'd it in my head myself. Um, I feel some type of way about my, um, my forehead, but I think it's just my forehead. I just have big forehead. So, anyways, well, I think I'm just gonna go really like that because I think it's, it looks good. Let me show you guys everything to the back. It looks good. I like it actually. And I made it in um, an African store here in Derby. So, yes, guys, my face is already itching. Let's do my night skincare routine and then we're gonna be seeing the progress of trying to clear my um rashes so let's get into it i don't think i'm gonna do too much today though because it's night already i'm gonna have to wake up at five tomorrow at five literally to have my bath so there's no point like doing a lot so i think i'm just gonna do little um so i'll be using my micellar cleansing water to tone I actually love it because it's like it's rose water, right? Does it have rose water? Well, I don't know. It feels like rose water to me. That's why I like it. It's like it smells good and it's very soothing. So I got this from Boots cotton pads to apply it. So guys, I made my hair for sixty-seven pounds. Um, sixty pounds for the braid. 60 pounds for the braiding and seven pounds for i paid seven pounds for the extensions as i told you guys all my shooting range went to be honest i had like eye oops i really had eye oops because i thought i was gonna be like a badass like you know shooting proper being that badass because looking at it I don't see a reason why they would allow you to be so free while shooting a real gun. Do you get me? So it was like, I didn't like it because there were like many people behind me. So I wasn't like even comfortable shooting my gun. So it was like a lot of people watching me. But after my toner, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, Snail Mousin Power Essence. I love this so much. Um, so that's what I'm going to use now. We dropped out about for about 57 minutes and we didn't have any plans. I love to do this. I don't know if it's just me or I actually love to do this. <laughs> so we dropped down for 57 minutes to go shoot and then 
we didn't like plan on doing any other thing for we didn't plan on doing any other thing for the night it was more like oh my god and the thing is i paid for a 30 minute session 40 rounds but i didn't even really use up to like 10 minutes and it was all done so imagine we drove from Dhabi all the way for 57 minutes just to do something of 10 minutes and then we're back in the car driving back down yeah that's it about my Birmingham journey I don't think okay so that's it about my Birmingham journey it wasn't it wasn't all great but yeah I'm glad I shot a real gun at least have you shot a real gun before if you haven't shot a real gun don't speak to me if i had even known i was gonna be probably i would have um well probably would have like booked other things to do in Birmingham and all that but i wasn't even in the mood i just wanted to shoot <laughs> literally i just wanted to shoot but yeah i'm just waiting for all of this to sink in my face <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, guess what I just remembered? I want to cut the SS brows, the SS air off my brows, and I've I forgot to do that before putting on my skincare. But nevertheless, I think I'll still do it. I think I'll still do it because I want it to on my face. Because if I'm not gonna, do, I don't know if I'm gonna do makeup tomorrow or not. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna use this. I also got this at Boost, it's the Sikoplast um, Barrier Repair Cream. I also got this in mini because I wanna see if it's gonna suit me. But I actually love this. One thing about this is it's very moisturizing and very soothing, and it smells like Ori. You guys know what i'm talking about yeah it smells so much like already so yeah and then this is how it is i just put a that's what i just use and i use it on both my face and my neck basically it's the barrier repair cream And I think the cost of my um I think the cost of my skin issues or the cost of my um rashes is due to the change of weather. That's what I feel like though. I feel it's due to the change of weather. Cause I'm a baby, I'm a princess. <laughs> So I think it's due to the change of weather, but we're gonna survive it. That's all I do. And then I use my main moisturizer, which is also my body cream, Cetaphil. So I love Cetaphil, to be honest with you, I love it. So I'm gonna use um, Cetaphil moisturizer to top everything up. It's my body cream, and I also use it as a moisturizer for my face. Not so much though, because I already have like enough moisturizer. Well, it's at night, so I don't mind. I really don't apply a lot on my face and my body on my face though, because sometimes I do have oily skin and sometimes I don't. I get oily skin. I get my skin get oily when I'm tired. That's what I would say. It gets oily when I get when I'm tired and normal every other time. So I'm just gonna let this sink in. Also, Yep, that's it. I don't know if it's just me. 
I don't actually like anything being on my lips, like lip gloss or anything. I prefer to just line my lips and that's it. So one medium just go get um my spoolie and my bleed. I'll be right back. I wanna have the excess air of my brows. And yes, my brows are micro bleeded by the way. Yeah. I'm gonna be using my mascara wand. So I'm gonna be using my mascara wand and a blade, brow blade. That's what I'm gonna be using. So let's do it. You know, let me tell you something about my brows. I used to actually, I've always known how to do my brows myself. Right from time, I've always known how to do my brows. In fact, I used to. I used to help my friends, my schoolmates, carve their brows also. Like, they trusted me with their brows. So, I used to, and it's not like I learned it, it's just a natural skill. Because sometimes I don't know how people do my brows because they don't get to do where I want it to be. And my microblading, many people always say they like it, they like it, they like it. But when I first did it, I actually didn't like it, like, I didn't like it at all. My phone storage is just fucking me up. But yeah, let's continue. So I think I'm done here. So I think I'm done here. I'm just going to moisturize it. And yeah, that's it. And I think that's it for the night. We're about to wrap it up because I'm about to go sleep now. Yes, guys, thank you for watching my vlog. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends to tell your friends. Tell your friends to subscribe. I love you guys. See you guys. Bye.